Are we ready? One, two, three, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Ranch Friends. We did an East Coast Swing class tonight. We started off by talking basics. East Coast Swing is a dance that's a variation of the jive and jitterbug dances from the 1950s. We are basically staying on the spot in a circle and moving around each other. The pattern with the feet is a triple step, triple step, and rock step. When we do the triple, gentlemen always start left, ladies start right. We're going to triple and point our toes to the side, one and two. As we move the other direction, we slightly turn our toes, three and four. When we do a rock step, I have my right hand on her shoulder blade. I am simply going to do a rock step, toe or heel behind, sorry, toe behind heel, and maintain my stance. I'm going to allow my arm to extend, and that's as far away as we're going to extend. We don't want to extend so far that we let our bodies get out of balance. So the basic pattern, one and two, three and four, rock step. One and two, three and four, rock step. We then did quarter turns and half turns. When we're in position, my left hand is simply leading the turns and giving her clues about where she's going to go. My right hand is keeping her body together with me. So my right hand on her shoulder blade. On count one and two, I'm stepping left, she's stepping right. I'm going to rotate my body and I'm simply going to move her with me with my right hand. The left hand is going to maintain the connection. So the quarter turns. One and two, three and four. Quarter turn. One and two, three and four. Quarter turn. One and two, three and four. Quarter turn. One and two, three and four, five, six. The next thing we do is a half turn. When we do quarter turns, I'm keeping her body spurred off to me. When we do a half turn, I'm actually going to get out of her way and set up a, um, a line of dance so she knows she's going past me. So in a half turn, on the rock step and count five, six, I will get out of her way. One and two, three and four, five, six. She did the same old, same rock step she normally did. But on count six, she starts to set, get forward. She sees the line of dance. Now on one and two, I'm just going to bring her past me. Three and four, five, six. So that move looks like this. If we do it twice in a row. One and two, three and four. I open up. Line of dance, three and four, open up. Line of dance, three and four, five, six. Now, what we just did was a closed frame with my hand on her shoulder blade. We can do the same moves in an open frame position. I have my hands over top, up to the outside of her hands. She has a good firm frame so she can feel me move her one way or the other with the hands. So in this position, we can do the same quarter turns and half turns that we just did. But we now did a half turn by the gentleman stepping to his left, the lady comes through and I bring my hand over her head for an inside turn. And that move looked like this. One and two, three and four. As we did a rock step, I allow her to open up and as I step towards her, I cross my right foot over and bring my left hand up. This hand coming up is a signal for her that she is going to do a turn. She also sees me get out of her way so she knows she's going past me. So I count one and two, I bring my hand over her head. One and two. We're back facing each other. Three and four, we're going to shuffle to the side and then I'm going to pick up her hand again. So that move. One and two, three and four, five, six. One and two, three and four. Pick up her hand. One and two, three and four, five, six. One and two, three and four. And then we can just close up. And that's our move for tonight. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.